Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where I said that I was going to make the entire journey off camera. I made most of it, but um... So this ain't symmetrical at all. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but look at the clipping difference there. That's probably the reason for the, the sideways drift, but I suspect that's not going to be too important once we actually get to our base. Now remember, we're backing in. I did turn the SAS back on in SAS only mode, so the SAS's goal is to hold us in the up position. That's the idea anyway. Who knows if they'll actually succeed. But there's our base. It's only 400 meters out. We are approaching it pretty quickly. I'm gonna start braking. I don't want to start braking too hard, though, because the SAS can't handle it. We're down to 4 meters per second. Three and a half. Make that three. Now, under no circumstances am I going to physics warp this. That is an awful idea. Okay, we're down to half speed right now, and our distance is about 200 meters. So I'm going to keep going at this speed for a little bit here. I don't want to do that. I want to come this way because we're backing in. Because we did that fancy little flip maneuver that was entirely intentional. But we managed to not destroy a single solar panel, which is impressive, actually. Okay, so is this our mining module here? No, that's our science module. So we want to come over this side, probably. I mean, we don't have to, I suppose. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to come over here. And we're going to accelerate back up to 2.5 meters per second. And then we're just going to see about docking into our fuel production module. So if I can find the... Docking port. It's got to be here somewhere. Wait, is that it? This should be it right at the end here, but... Uh, can't find it. Maybe once we have a little bit better of an angle. There it is. Set as target. Fantastic. Now I'm going to turn in this direction. Oh, let the SAS take that back over. We were turning a little too sharp. Let's just break. And actually, maybe I should just turn this thing around <laughs> rather than trying to back it in. I don't know. Maybe not. So let's do this number. We're going to go this way a little bit, but not too much yet. Okay, let's... Actually, we can head this way a little bit more sharply for a little bit. And we can start turning right about now. There we go. Let's come to a halt. Control from here. Okay, that's exciting. <laughs> We're going to need to control from here for now, then. Or actually, we can change our control point, right? We can't from the docking port. Yeah, we have no ability to control from the docking port. Okay. So we'll control from... Yeah, we can't change our control point for the docking port. So we'll control from the drone core for right now. We'll just make our way in at one meter per second and eyeball it. I think we need to come this way a little bit. Yeah, we definitely do. Okay, we can straighten it out now. First try. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lower the extension on our shock absorbers here. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Oh! <laughs> no wonder! Look at the positioning on these things, they're so much further down. How did that happen? These were clipped all the way up, halfway up. That explains a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and get these wheels on the ground. This is still going to be perfectly functional. We're going to look for maybe around 0.5. Something like that. Yeah, that looks doable. Okay, how much ore do we have? Our ore is actually full. Let's make some liquid fuel plus oxidizer. And look at that. What tank is it going into? Into here, I assume? Yeah, it is. Well, that's okay. We have, we have a fair amount of liquid fuel stored right now, but this is fine. We'll just run those and it will eventually fill on up. So for now, Let's head back to the Space Center, and we need to figure out a way to get Jeb and Valentina out of there. That's going to be exciting, to be sure. So we're going to need either a two-seater or more, or we are going to need something that can operate in drone mode or in piloted mode. Which is going to be exciting. We have 116 science. I'm not really going to spend anything on that. But we need to start up some Kerbal R&D program here, and this is going to be a doozy. Because, you may notice, we're in the space plane hangar. <laughs> I am really bad at making space planes. I'm going to preface this with that. So be ready for many, many explosions. So we're going to start with this Mark 1 cockpit. This seat's 1, correct? Yes, that seat's one. Um, this also has a crew capacity of one. However, what we could theoretically do is we could put a passenger, or rather a crew cabin, right here. That would be a possibility. And then the question is, what exactly is the goal of this thing? The answer is that we want this to be not even a single stage to orbit design. We want this to be a single stage to Minmus design. So, with that in mind, we are going to need a few things. Obviously, we have this ready to go. Let's also go ahead and put in a second command pod. That is to say, a drone core. We're going to put in a remote guidance unit right there so that this thing can operate in drone mode without a pilot because that's going to be pretty important for us. Next, I would like to do a liquid fuel fuselage like this, one that does not have oxidizer, but I would like a bigger one. There we go. Does this actually... Oh, there is no fuel. It's just a structural element. Okay. That's the one that I want, then. And that fuselage will be powering the majority of what we're looking at. So this thing is going to be powered, for now, with exclusively... And it's not going to stay this way, please note. Exclusively, for now, a nuclear engine. This is probably not going to be enough to get this thing off the ground. Well, almost certainly not going to be enough. So let's go ahead and look at some aerodynamics. What do we need for lift? Well, I'm, like I said, I'm really bad at making space planes. So this is going to take a little while. Oh yeah, swept wings. They look cool. No, I'm, 
I'm thinking right now we might go... We might, actually, do something along the lines of this. And then we'd have, like, a tail fin back here. Not in symmetry. Kind of like this. This would be a very, very basic design. Where is our center of lift? That's really bad. What about our center of mass? That is incredibly bad. Or wait, no, that's center of thrust. Center of mass. Yeah, uh, we're going to need to move these wings forward for sure. If we have them here, that would help a lot. That said, it is kind of covering our windows. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this part here to have the windows be more like this. And then we'll put the wings here. We'll probably snap the wings in. Yeah, that'll probably be a good idea. Right about there. We're not going to be running any crew right now. You're off the hook, Verkle. So, the question is, this is 864 Delta V, at least at sea level. Um, let's go ahead and set this to be vacuum. Yeah, this is plenty of Delta V, if we can get it into orbit. We can't, right now. We're going to need to work on that. But this is just an initial testing module here. So let's go ahead and then put in our system that we had. And I'm going to use just these cubic octagonal struts for that. For our adjustable height wheels. And we're also going to put a cubic octagonal strut up here. And then we're going to go into our robotics and we're going to use a telescoping hydraulic cylinder. Like this. Um, is this too big? Did we have a smaller one before? This That's even bigger. Okay, I, I think this is the best we can do then. So now let's put this over here as well. And then we'll put another cubic octagonal strut at the bottom. Let's just rotate this to be that way. And then we'll attach some wheels. Now, I don't want to do the rover wheels that we've been doing before because they break too easily. I'm thinking we're going to use landing gear. Steerable up, up here, perhaps. In fact, we'll maybe use steerable everywhere. Uh, I want it to be up in here. Do I want it going this way or this way? <laughs> I think this way. Maybe, but that's obviously not where we want it. Snap it in right about like that. And snap it up as well. This is probably an awful idea. But let's go ahead and grab some steerable landing gear back here as well. We can adjust it later on. Uh, this is not how we want it rotated, to be sure. we we'll use the rotation tool. Rotate it to be one more like that. And we'll just make sure that they're going the same direction. Is that correct? That looks correct. We'll now snap them into place. Something along the lines of that. This is awful. <laughs> We're going to disable steering in the back. Okay. And we are going to call this the SSTM, or single stage to minimus. This is our initial design, and it's awful, and I love it. Let's crash it. It's probably not even going to get off the runway, is my theory.
Of course, there are many more things that we're going to need. We're going to need a braking system once we get to Minmus, a way to stop. Oh boy, the runway is dirt. Okay. Oh yeah, this thrust to weight. It's so good. Also, I like how we have uh, no pitch authority on our wings. We do have authority for turning, which is nice. Too much authority for turning, perhaps. Oh, are these turning opposite to each other? Okay, turn off the SAS, stop the thrust. That is certainly exciting. No, they're not turning opposite to each other at all. SAS was just being SAS. Okay. This doesn't have gimbling on it, does it? No, it doesn't. What is causing this rocking, then? Is it just damping on on these? It might be. I don't know. But this is just a first very, very minor iteration. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to go well. I'm going to revert that back to the space plane hangar, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this and jump out of here. And we are going to go ahead and upgrade our runway. There. Now our runway is paved. That'll make things a little bit easier. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue designing our SSTM. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.